Welcome back from the break, everybody. T squared and strong side bringing you the action from the Xfinity desk. We just saw Splice three to zero over Team Liquid. That was a shocker. And now we're getting ready for the match of the week. It's Team Envious taking on Optic Gaming. If there was ever a time to tweet the stream, do it now. Use that hashtag HCS, twitch.tv backslash Halo. Let's get it going. Mike. What a series that we have in front of us. Yeah, this is the matchup we all want to see. This is the battle of the Titans. The top two teams in Halo right now, Optic Gaming and Team Envious, always putting on a show for us. Whether it's at a LAN tournament, whether it's online during scrims, they are always going the distance. These two teams last time played 20 games at Daytona against each other. But taking a look here at Team Envious, they are currently 1-0 in the season. and holding that number one rank. Yeah, I want to take this time to talk a little bit about the coach. We sit there and have alumni, and I know that he was taking a little bit of heat for being passionate after winning. That is absolutely absurd, alumni. You do you, man. Honestly, bring as much energy as you want to the table. I love that type of stuff in Halo. And, you know, I love these rivalries going on right now between Team Envious and Optic Gaming. Again, the big question is who's going to be the team to come out on top, but also who's gonna be the team to try to stop this guy right here. Mickwin has been playing out of his mind. He is finally playing the best Halo of his life. Honestly, the guy has been playing at a really high level and all of a sudden he just took it up a notch out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, he's putting himself in the best positions on the map, just always making himself uh, very present and very known, whether that's with the sniper rifle, moving with the teammate. He is just always, he, he's starting to remind me now of kind of like uh, an older Victory X, always just making the right plays, but also on top of that, just being incredible with the power weapons, especially the sniper. Uh, so this whole squad, I mean, they're deadly. Mickwin, Pistola, Snipe Down, all three of them have been around for a while. Yeah. And Hook? He's just kind of following along. He's just picking up uh, kind of uh, H5 and doing his thing and just being great at it. Yeah, Victory X a little bit more in slow and methodical. Mickwin a lot more aggressive, taking a look at the game type. Same game types that we just saw in the previous series, but we only saw three games because how well Spice was playing. Truth CTF, Plaza Slayer, Eden Strongholds, Fathom CTF, Coliseum Slayer, so much firepower. The first thing that comes to mind to me is yesterday we did see both of, the, both of these teams play this game type in game number three. It was Ronin going up against Optic Gaming. Ronin put up a pretty good fight against Optic in that game, if I remember correctly. And then Team Envious, they just completely wiped the floor with Luminosity. Non-stop action, non-stop just spawn trapping these guys. And Luminosity couldn't even get out of their base except when Ninja maybe just sprinted across. And exactly what you're saying, that's got me a little bit worried for Optic Gaming right now because they don't seem to kind of be all together. Maybe Daytona kind of uh, flustered them a little bit and shook, uh, has kind of shaken them up a bit. Uh, but Team Envious, they kind of the same thing as Splice. Like Team Envious is feeling very confident after their performance at Daytona, being able to reset the series and come back and win another best of seven. And everyone's talking about Mickwin. He has got to be just feeling so confident with everything he does, whether that's poking back out to pull off a snapshot or pull off a quick scope uh, with the sniper. You know, he is just absolutely filled with confidence. Yeah, and the communication is really important too here. So one of the thing to keep in mind is Optic much more calm, cool, and collected. Meanwhile, when you listen to Envy call out, they are much more into it, barking out call outs left and right. We're going to start this one off with Eric Rona. It is snipe down, laying down shots in the window for multiple players pushing out over towards the pink side. Should get some information to Ola on where these guys are located. Ola's going to make her flank round over towards the face and probably drop down for that camouflage. Meanwhile, Lethal versus Snipe down, former teammates going on it over towards P2. Pistol is going to pick up a kill as well. This is looking like a good start here for Envy, but oh Frosty with the shots. Gosh, Frosty, incredible shots with the Magnum there on to snipe down over to Lethal now. Trying to get some of those needs there at top mid as Hook will go down. Two players from Envy pushing over to pink side. You're going to see Pistola down to one shot. Lethal's going to finish him up. That's two down for Optic Gaming, though. Make that two down for Envious as well. So two on two right now. Lethal trying to stay alive as he gets his shields back making his push to get some shots across the map, but there is going to be a player behind him. He's getting nated, and he will eventually get taken down. So neither team really able to get past this 50-yard line just yet, but that's going to be three down for Optic, and Envy slowly starting to make their push here. It looks like a player from Envy is going to be trying to sneak across the top. Actually, 
he, did, he opted to not go under the base. He opted to go to top middle. Uh, so once again, still neither team able to get into each other's base. Yeah, top middle, very strong. We were watching Lethal for quite some time. He's had some pretty good shots. He was probably the player yesterday from Optic Gaming that was standing out. I want to watch for him again in this series today. And then Royal 2 as well. He was playing extremely passive yesterday, kind of doing what Royal 2 does. I feel like Envious probably used to that. Like you said, Mike, they played 20 games against each other in Daytona. That was pretty recently. But just think amount of the amount of games that they have faced off ever since they've had these four as a squad. Pistola with the perfect shots. Can he finally infiltrate the Optic Gaming base? Want to hold pink side here with the camouflage coming up in the next 15 seconds. And I believe he was the one that picked that up last time, right around that 48 to 50 mark. So. You know Alumni's barking these out, waiting for these guys to push over towards pink side from Optigaming. Gaming. That's exactly what Pistola's predicting. Great grenade from Pistola. Great prediction. But Royal 2 is going to be able to finish him off here as he falls down from top mid. That's going to be two down for Optic Gaming. Team Envious now have an opportunity to pick up camo and get into the base and get a flag moving. Mikwin with the camo. Two down for Optic as they spawn up over by the car bubble, trying to push into their base. Two down again. Optic still trapped over by the car side as they spawn up under the base as well. Envy pushing in. Two down again. Spawning by the car bubble envious just on a slain terror but that flag is still yet to be moved wow and, and although they are picking up those slays it didn't look like there was that opportunity so envy is Frosty. not forcing it they're taking it slow mcquin's behind them yeah the whole reason that didn't work out is because frosty picked up a double kill as the last guy alive finds another player with the beatdown, eventually kills Mikwin with the camouflage in a situation where he was literally being pinched from multiple angles and multiple players coming in from Envious. So now we're back into a little bit of a standoff over here as Lethal's trying to get control of Pink. You have a member above him from Envious trying to do the same thing, but it's going to be advantage for Envy right now. His number's going in their advantage. Lethal, you can see him just chucking out grenades, but it's Frosty again picking up a double kill. He has to be responding to callouts pretty much flawlessly at this point to be able to pick up kills where he shouldn't be. Yeah, the gameplay we see from these two teams, it's so methodical. These two teams match up so well against each other, and you can just see it. Both of them are having trouble trying to infiltrate that flag. Neither team is able to find that perfect moment or opportunity. And right as I say that, who picks up a double kill, and he's going to toss the flag out, but still, it's not the perfect opportunity. Neither team Ooh. is giving the other one that opportunity to swiftly run that flag back in there. Optic's going to make a quick return. That flag's back into the base, and you've got Pistola on the prowl here. He does find Royal 2. That's two down. Refresh Make dead. that three down. This is the po perfect opportunity. Pistola running the flag towards pink side. They've got the spawn strap. They're going to be spawning up over in the bubble. That's Optic Gaming. Nowhere near the flag. You've got Pistola all the way back. This looks like it's going to be a clean capture as three of his teammates are down. He's going to get it in. They go up one to Look zero the counter, in though. Team Envious. Got to watch out for the counter, Mike. You do have players waiting for the camouflage. Snipe down getting a big kill on the flag runner. That was Frosty. That's just slow things down just a little bit. You can see two players for Envy on that car side, car one and car three. That's Pistola over there. Mikwin's going to drop. Nice shots coming in. However, the return from the guy that killed the flag guy originally, that's oh. snipe down. Big 1v1 no. going up against oh. Royal 2. Royal 2 wow. realizing he needs the thrust back. Otherwise, snipe down has his number where he's located. Nice job picking off the kill onto Mikwin as well. However, Pistola spots him out there. All the rest of Optic Gaming flooding in from car side and top center. And beyond the spawn inside of their base, you can tell Optic Gaming really trying to answer here from that nearly flawless flag capture that came out from Pistola. I love the positioning from Pistola as he pushed in there. Got slays, recognized that everybody was in perfect position to run that one. He was the last guy alive as he put it in, and Optic Gaming not able to capitalize. However, they have kind of reset the map here, and Royal 2 has snuck all the way underneath the base. Let's see if Envy can clear him out, Mike. Royal 2 picking up the kill on Mikwin. He's going to get trapped down here by Pistola, but he'll get cleaned up as well. So two down for both squads. Lethal on the other side, not going to make a push as he sees red X's all over his screen. Tries to get some uh, map control by getting up to top mid, but there is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide when Team Envious is all across the board from every angle, making sure you're not going to get in to that top middle position. You can see how much value they put on the pink side. They have a guy top center helping over there. They have Ola constantly pushing. Now Hook, who was primarily going car side yesterday in their series against Luminosity, is now pushing on over towards P1. Flags being pulled. Got pulled players on spawn right now for Optic Gaming. One underneath the base. This is a huge kill on a lethal if he can get it. What wow, a no fight. trade coming in for lethal either. I'm not sure if he got the melee off, but Royal 2 going to come in with the double kill and clean that up, possibly stopping this flag. 
every single individual fight, it just goes down to the most clutch factor between these these players here. I mean, it, it really comes down to that last shot, that, to that last thrust, to that last movement here. Royal 2 picking up the kill on Miquin. He'll get taken down immediately by Pistola. Now Envy making their push out to pink because Camo is coming up soon. I believe that may have gotten burned, yeah. but... We'll see three members from Optic Gaming go down as Frosty. He's playing a bit sneaky. Doesn't look like Envy knows he's here, so he's going to take down Mikwin, start getting this flag moving over towards the car side. He got that out kind of far, sniped out, missed a couple of shots on that guy who was kind of running in a straight line, but he's not missing shots here on a lethal. That was a big 1v1 that he had to win. If he could have got that, he could have definitely got another flag touch. Instead, he's going to have to desperate just a little bit. Flag's being pulled over towards P1. Looking good so now for I'm Envy. looking at sniped out right now as the big X factor on that fight against lethal. Who going for the ground pound? There it is, two to zero for Envy. That is so unfortunate for Optic Gaming. It was a good push there by Frosty getting that kill onto Mikwin. It's just not able to get sniped down and sniped down stopped that flag being captured from that pink side killing Frosty. He stopped it car side, and now they're looking at potentially putting this game out of reach here. Two to zero, four and a half minutes left, and already running another flag, and they have good setup. Envy is a freight train, and you do not want to be in their way right now. That's going to be two down, about to be three down for Optic. This flag is already back into uh -oh. the base, but there is going to be a grab. That flag goes under the base. Hook is there to try and get the return. You've got the player up top ready Double to get read. the flag cap. Is it going to happen? Yes, it does. MV take game number one, three to zero. Another, this is shocking. Series one, match one, excuse me, was absolutely insane for me. Match number two, I thought we were going to see a little bit different of an optic gaming coming in here. And it just seems like Envy is literally, they're kind of on a, they're a steamroll. They're a freight train right now. And optic gaming seems a little bit flustered. They're going off, looking at the kills. It's sniped down 21 and 13, but not only going big with the kills, Getting the flag carrier kills, that's what was so important as we scroll through the rest of this flag carrier kills. He didn't get any officially, probably because the guy didn't have the flag in his actual hands, but that nonetheless was a guy running the flag, counts in my book. Meanwhile, Snakebite sitting at 8 and 19 and lethal 11 and 17, kind of rough in the kills and deaths department there for these guys. They're going to try to bounce back here in game number two, which is going to be Plaza Slayer, but it started off with very slow gameplay, constantly just jockeying for position on the map. All of a sudden, Envy gets one cap. They continue to get map control. They get a second one. Opti Gaming messes up on one flag. They get countered on. Boom. Game game over. Eight minutes. I think that they probably put three of those flag captures up in about three or four minutes, Mike. Yeah, and taking a look at the accuracy, everyone, all the players on Team Envious had over 60% accuracy. On the other side, we had Lethal at 47 and the other players in the 50 uh, percentile of accuracy. So Team Envy is feeling it tonight. They yeah. Their shot is on point, and their teamwork is on point as well. And if they continue this up, we may see a 3-0 victory here from them. I don't know. It seems like Envy is just a step ahead of other teams, especially in Truth CTF. I'm curious to see if they're going to be a step ahead of Optic on Plaza Slayer because that's scary to think about. You know, we go from Optic Gaming constantly pushing the envelope with Envy, always, you know, a close series, always a close game, to kind of being out of it there. Very rarely do you see anyone go like double negative on Optic Gaming like we just saw Snakebite do, or, you know, Lethal even with less than 50% sitting at 47%. So they're going to have to get it together here and bounce back. You do not want to go down 2 to 0 to Envy. Yeah, you're Optic, you can come back and make some things happen, but we're going to see where it starts here, and maybe it's Royal 2. Here we go, Royal 2, making this push over towards the flowers. Not going to be able to spot anybody just yet. Player flies in from the rooftops, but he'll take him down. That's Pistola, but snipe down on the other side. He's got the sniper. He's got a teammate nearby with the overshield. That'll be Hook as well, so all the goodies in the hands of Envy. And they do know there's a player behind them. You're going to have snipe down picking up the kill. Actually, excuse me, Hook will finish that off, uh, but still oh. with the sniper. Make that three down. Lethal is going to sit down after that. No scope snapshot by snipe down. Five to one. A lot of ammo left here in the chamber. Optic Gaming needs to make a push together to try and retrieve this back. A little turtle head sticking out, but hello. Frosty's going to go down. Snipe down. Not able to pick up the kill on that one. Hell, another one. Look at this. He... This is just insane. Snipe down, just give him the sniper. Give him the sniper. You Your don't choice know. of words, though, 
Mike, turtle head. <laughs> a little turtle head poking up. Is that because Snipe Down is currently pooping on Optic Gaming? Is that why? <laughs> what? I don't know how you correlated. <laughs> <laughs> the guy peeked his head around the corner. I mean, you may want to look up what the definition of that actually is. Oh but by the way, Snipe down here just laying down some serious uh. shots. What a conservative opening strategy there for Optic Gaming to send a player over towards Yard. Two guys over towards Yard, one towards top gold, another one flanking over there. That just allowed Overshield and Sniper to go right on over to these guys. You know Snipe Down's going to run right for that weapon. Yeah, 13 to 3. I mean, Team Envious. This, honestly. If you ask me, like, what I think Optic Gaming, I mean, would be, would they be falling apart kind of like this? I, I don't want to say they are falling apart, but by the looks of it, it seems like they're just not all there. This isn't the Optic Gaming that we're used to seeing. This isn't the Optic Gaming that we've seen throughout the entirety of Halo 5. They've, they've yeah. literally stomped across every team yeah. time and time and time again. And it had gotten to the point where people had fought thought like hey every team is fighting for second place right it's this a game of mistakes though mike you know and i think that in the beginning they made a huge mistake by allowing snipe down to get the sniper rifle honestly you allow this guy to get it for free it's been about two and a half minutes into the game he just took out your overshield guy and he had plenty of ammo left so now up four kills for envy that's still a good position to be in at least optic gaming fighting it back now mcquinn the last guy alive over here everyone's spawning in the tram area now this is going to be a good collapse here for optic gaming look how aggressive they're getting however frosty's going to drop first Pistol is going to get a kill as well. This is not the collapse they're looking for now. They need to back off and get out of this area because now Envy could flip the positioning on them. Well, you'll see a player come out to help out Royal 2, and they will put those kills on the board for them, taking that lead only down to two from Team Envious. Royal 2 still keeping that pressure here by the loop as well. It's going to make an aggressive charge here as he does have a teammate nearby. That's going to be Snakebite with the Sniper. See if Snakebite's going to be able to do anything as Royal 2 is kind of giving him some cover here over by the street. And now Lethal uh, getting some control here as I believe the Overshield will be coming up here in just a moment. Yeah, about 40 seconds for that Overshield. Snipe down gets a barrel kill onto Snakebite who had the sniper rifle. Lethal's gonna drop as well. Great timing for Envious. All three dead there, or three out of four dead, excuse me, for Optic Gaming. And Sniper right back on over to, looks like Snipe down's hands. Couple missed shots there. That player wasn't really in front of him for the taking. Top Gun Metal going on over to Snipe down as well. Look at the amount of ammo that he has. Seven bullets, Overshield coming up. He's pretty much in the same position that he was earlier. However, he's gonna need a little bit more support. Nice flank there on Lethal. Gets the back of the head there. Royal 2 oh, not even aware that he's there. I'm a gosh. little bit worried about the communication there. You gotta call out sniping from the hotel area or at least hear that in your headphones. Yeah, nobody but, turned around, nobody yeah, looked at him. That's, again, very uncharacteristic there for Optic Gaming. And and if you ask me what the recipe for success is for a Plaza Slayer game, I would say get the sniper into Snipe Down's hands. He's had it almost the entire game so far. There you just see everyone on Envious just giving him the defense, giving, putting up a defensive wall around Snipe Down, just allowing him to kind of freely roam around the map. So he's kind of able to just do his thing. Finally, he'll be taken down, but there's no sniper ammo left in that. So Optic is not going to be able to get a power weapon into their hands as Team Envious will further their lead to six kills now, 30 to 24. This is where it all starts to begin. This is where it really starts to matter each and every kill. I know from teaming with Snipe Down, you know, I think that it's in his blood that whenever he's out of sniper rifle ammo, he just dies and was like, you know what, I'm out of sniper ammo, guys. Just kill me so I can go on respawn and find the next one, honestly. But McWin's gonna drop. This is an eight kill lead now here for the boys in blue. Let's see what the wizard's gonna be able to do. Pistola has the combo, so this is a good position to be in. He may wanna flank over here over towards that life, life, light rifle area, excuse me. And he does get stuck though, unfortunate for him. A very nice stick for Frosty. Can that buy some slays here for Optic Gaming? They desperately need it. Frosty clutching it up again with another kill over here. However, the trade coming in, Hook's gonna find that one. Still a six kill lead here for Envy. Optic's gotta get it going with this overshield coming up in 40 seconds, Mike. We've got Snipe down with 15 kills, four assists, and four deaths. Make that 16 kills. Definitely really putting on quite a show here. Uh, 16 for... and four, so he's sitting at positive 12 with a seven kill lead, insane. Exactly.
Royal 2 now trying to make a move here, but two players from Team Envious. Well, he will get the trade. Good Definitely trade. a good trade there in uh -oh. that type of scenario. Lethal missing a few beatdowns. Uh -oh. Snipe down. Uh -oh. Is he going to do it? No, he's not. Almost could have been bad there that for Lethal. That could have been really, really bad. That's a, another uncharacteristic play right there. Lethal missing a pretty easy back whack. Snipe down almost turning around there and giving the embarrassment. However, nine kills, again, overshield popping up here. Mikwin has the sniper rifle too, so watch out for that as Hook is trying to desperately get up here to try to do the jump onto the awning, not able to. So now he's gonna rotate and lay down some cover fire over towards the light rifle. You see another player going up onto the awning. That looks like snake bite. He should be able to secure the overshield, and he does, getting full Obi. That is gonna be huge for Optic Gaming. They really needed that one there, Mike. Yeah, they gotta use this overshield to pick up a few kills, bring themselves back into the game. They do take down Hook, making a flank here from Lethal. They are able to get the sniper as well. A lot of ammo in that. So this could be good for Optic Gaming. Yes, they are down, but they're putting they're putting the power weapons in their hands, which can be the turning point for them. 38 to 43. A lot of time left. They do not need to force any pushes. They can really slow it down here. Ooh, that is a big headshot that Lethal could have had. Instead, Hook is going to get away with his life with the thrust around the corner. And this is what's really unfortunate now is he's kind of caught over here. Lethal needs to rotate. He needs to go in over towards Hotel. He needs to make his way over towards Snipe side. No one's going to come that way. They already know that you're sniping in that area. Instead, he's going to try to rotate over towards the Flowers area and pick people off over towards the posters. But again, they know he's over there. They're just going to leave him. They're rotating perfectly around the sniper rifle play. Lethal just hanging out here in the cafe. Doesn't really need to move around too much. Just the kills will come to him. Snipe down, flying out through the air. Lethal will take him down. Hook finishes off Royal 2 in the kill feed. Envious, really slowing things down, making sure that they're trying not to put themselves into a position where they can get their oh. face sniped. And now Lethal still, he's just hanging out here in cafe. They're down by quite what? a bit, 47 to 40. I don't know, that looked like a hit and then didn't register there, but yeah, 49 to 40 here, one more, there it is. Envious taking game number two over Optic Gaming, putting themselves in a very, very strong position to potentially take this series, not only in dominating fashion, but possibly a sweep, which I don't know if that's ever had happened to Optic Gaming. Yeah, this is definitely uncharacteristic. This is, this is, I mean, maybe it's Optic Gaming and it's just Team Envious has figured out the formula. Maybe they have just kind of amplified themselves and now they're kind of taking over that throne and they're they're the ones on top. They're the ones kind of holding that throne and Optic Gaming could be trying to take that over. But with that, the slaying power here from Snipe Down, yeah. 19 kills and eight deaths. It, Decent it, amount of assists as well from, from the guys here on the squad. Mickwin with 10 and Hook with 10. Scary to think about. He was 16 and four at one point. So that means that he went three and four to go 19 and eight again. Huge mistake to start this off. 11, 12 to two. You know, they lose by 10. That was an awful beginning strategy. I don't know why they would send two players over towards the yard. You have to allocate more resources towards watching the overshield. You can't expect, you know, these two players to hold off the overshield guy and to hold off the sniper rifle guy. That was just way too easy for Envy. I'm shocked to see that coming out from the opening side of Optic. Maybe Envy is just putting on the pressure and playing uh, very aggressive, making it hard for Optic and, uh, kind of making them play out of their style and that they're not in their element because of what Envy is doing. doing. And that's why I'm kind of saying like, maybe Envy has figured out the formula. Maybe they have kind of figured out how to defeat Optic Gaming consistently. And yeah, they've taken Optic Gaming to extremely long series, but we're kind of seeing Team Envious uh, really just not make exactly quick work, but they're beating Optic Gaming quite convincingly right yeah. now. Yeah, no, that's definitely the right word for it. Eight and 14 coming out from Lethal. That's two back-to-back -back negative games for him. And he was the big player yesterday that I was watching out for, for the Optic Gaming squad to continue and carry it on. But it's just not happening right now. And this is what you didn't normally see from Optic is them taking turns kind of having bad games, right? Snakebite and Lethal didn't have the best game in the first game, then Lethal here in game number two. Yeah, a lot of that, in my opinion, comes down to just really small things. I honestly just look back at that 12-2 to 2 start and think that if Optic Gaming would have done that to Envy, we'd be looking at a one-to-one -one series. So I don't know if they've necessarily figured out how to beat Optic Gaming. They're probably, it's probably a little bit of that, but also them just figuring out how they want to play the game types because what we're seeing is Envy being 
very, very smart and methodical in all these different ways. And they're very smart at predicting what's going on. Very similar to a chess game where you just want to be a couple of moves ahead. And they are definitely doing so right now as we get strongholds on Eden underway. Opti Gaming playing from the red side. Let's see if they actually get the overshield as they should here. Snakebite making his way over there. Is it going to be him pushing over towards the pit? It is. Multiple grenades coming in. That's how you do it. That's how you stop the teams going for the overshield. Pook, he was able to burn that at that 50 mark. But very rarely do you see Red Team not pick that over yet. From watching Optic Gaming previously on this game type, I do believe Lethal was normally the one to make that push for overshield. It's whoever spawns up front, though, technically, usually is what teams will do. But you're right, Lethal was the guy that normally does that. And you have multiple things, multiple ways that you could go about that. But those grenades from Team Envious, on point. Absolutely on point. So let's see if they're going to be able to continue this streak and right. pull off another 3-0. Here with Hook. What? Is that a Spartan just, charge onto his own teammate? He, but Mike, I want to just highlight, though, again, those grenades that you were talking about because, man, that's the type of stuff that I want to see if Stray Rippin's playing from the blue side. I want to see, you know, grenades flying out towards that OV guy. It is not an easy thing to do. So you're right. Envy has been really focusing on the little things. You have to realize which side that you're playing from, what the advantages are from that, and how you could counter those things because it's really not rocket sciences. Ro rocket science, you don't need the secret formula that it is to be Optic Gaming. You really just gotta play Halo 5 by the book, and that's what they're doing right now. Finally, Optic Gaming able to take a little bit of a lead here. I believe this is the first lead of the series, and they are now pushing for a potential triple cap. Snake bite going over towards the catwalk. Now let's see Optic Gaming do what Optic Gaming does best and run the table on these type of situations. Well, here you've got Team Envy is spawning out by the turbine. They're able to pick up Blue Ben. Now they got to make their fight out of the outer part of the map. Rockets will be coming up here in about 20 seconds, along with Overshield uh, coming up at about 9.55 or so as well. So a lot of goodies that can really turn the tide here in this game. Pistola with the Rockets. He's going to go down, surprisingly enough. And you'll have Snipe down right there to finish off the capture up in the nest. He'll be able to get that capture and look at that Team wow. Envious trip cap. Here we go. Rockets are up on the map. Is anyone nearby? Does not look at. There you go. Mikwin is making an all out sprint over towards the Rockets. He's going to bring those swords over for sure. Overshield coming up as well. That looks like it's going to get burnt by Pistola. Ooh. Rockets picks up the double kill. Mikwin and now Frosty trying to get the nest, but <laughs> Mikwin just hunting him down. Rocket after rocket. Not going to get the connection. But Team Evy is still putting some points up on the board. Frosty trying to do everything nice he name. can to stay alive, but Team Envy hunts him down. Yeah, Mickwin was like, you know what? I shot one rocket, got two kills for that one. I could afford to waste a couple of more rockets. No one's going to necessarily notice, but all of a sudden, Envy reverse triple cap out of Optic Gaming. Mike was talking about this is what Optic Gaming does best. They run the table on these things. They only racked up 16 points. That is absurd. Royal 2 trying to stay alive here, but he does spot players all over his radar, so he's going to have to make a calculated move here. He gets the help from Lethal, takes down Pistol, and Nade's coming flying in everywhere, and he'll stay alive as Frosty picks up the kill on Snipe Down. Still, Team Envy is putting points on the board with Nest and Catwalk. What incredible shots there from Mikwin with the light rifle. Perfect shots there from him. Yep. And now we're going to see Royal 2 get that capture, but on the other side, a little bit of a switcheroo. They lose the blue bed. Yep, switcheroo is the right thing that happened right there, coming in from both teams, but Optic wasn't aware of the outside push for Envy. Really loved the idea of, yes, we can't really contest this catwalk right now. It is the premier setup to have, but let's go around, hold the poor man setup. Let's get this blue bend, hold this red nest as well, and then make our rotations once we get slays on over towards the catwalk. If Mikwin could land this ninja, that would have been hit huge. Royal 2 playing that patient, though, snake bite. He's trying to get red nest over with his boy. That one is going to go on over to Optic Gaming. Now the rotation from Royal 2 to push on towards the blue bend area. You can see he's aware of the spawns as well, coming up on that blue platform over towards outside. I also like this angle that he's taking. However, the reset's going to come in. Royal 2 doesn't want to risk his life for that, especially with Rockets and Overshield coming up. However, Hook with the two-shot beatdown with the battle rifle is going to take out a huge player there for Optic, and that should be able to help secure this Overshield, but Snakebite on top of it. Perfect timing there from Optic. That was huge by Snakebite. Yeah, great timing on Optic Gaming's part to pick up the Overshield. Now they do <laughs> have strongholds in their favor, 30 to 40. Right now, Snipe down, making his way outside to see if they can get control of the nest. We'll pick up the BR as well. Gets that player down to one shot, and that 
He's not going to be able to finish up Hook's kill there. So Snipe down just waiting for his teammates to spawn up. Pistola has the rockets. He'll pick up the kill. This is the opportunity to make a push. Team Envious looking across the map, and you do see a player, I believe that's Mikwin, trying to make a push onto the nest. But look at this. Both teams really taking this quite passively and not making a push here. Yep. Both teams really taking it slow. Yeah, I thought that Envy was going to move on their numbers advantage once it was a three-on-four situation, but it looks like they wanted a little bit more than that. Now they're facing a three-on-three -three situation, so maybe missed out on their opportunity to push while Optic Gaming's just been racking up points. Looks like they really wanted to build around Pistola there with the Rockets, but Pistola, he's now one of the last guys alive with Snipe down, and Optic Gaming's going to be all over him towards the security side, so it's going to be so tough to get multiple kills going. Gets that killing spree, but not able to find any more as Lethal shuts that down, and Optic Gaming just continuing to put points on the board milking this clock Mike. Row 2 just in a perfect spot to make sure he has complete eyes on the catwalk backing down every single player from Team Envious that make a push onto that stronghold. Over on the other side we're seeing a player make his push over towards the nest trying to make a little bit of a distraction. We'll see Lethal go down as well. That's going to be one down, two down for Optic Gaming, three down for Optic Gaming. This is Team Envious' opportunity to get nice control. Shots. That was all four down for just a moment as Hook picks up a triple kill. They get control of the catwalk. Looks like they're about to get control of the nest as well, actually no, they opted to leave the nest. So they'll keep their overshield. They'll keep their focus on Blue Ben and by Catwalk. Book's not helping for the overshield. He's helping towards Blue Ben, and there's multiple players pushing over towards Blue Ben. Snake Bite was the guy that got it last time. Royal 2 gets it this time around. That was a big error there from NB, sending multiple guys towards Blue Flag when they should have been focused on the camo. Ooh, Hook make it up for it though with the two-shot beatdown, getting that gun punch. Can he get a kill with the rocket though? That is a little bit of a wasted rocket as he did only have one shot left, just trying to save his life. Instead, he's going to be fighting multiple players over towards red oh, side security. Man. Lethal with the perfect shots. Mikwin finds a kill with a grenade. And you can tell Sniped Out desperately wants to help over towards this catwalk area. Very nice grenade onto Royal 2. He's going to drop him. Still has full shields. Can he take out Snake Bite? Another good grenade. Will it do damage? Not getting any hit markers there. Multiple players coming in from the blue platform. Sniped Out needs to get this reset. I wonder if the guys from Optic Gaming are just going to bail on this side and say, hey, guys, we can't get catwalk. Too many people. Let's rotate outside over towards possibly Blue Bend. But Snakebite does find a kill in a situation that he shouldn't have and then does flank around here on to the security side. Multiple people pushing on on top of Catwalk. It's going to be Frosty. Can Snipe down take him out? This is a big 1v1. Frosty going to bail. They're doing what we were talking about, Mike. They're rotating over towards Blue Bend. Smart play by Optic Gaming. Yeah, and you'll take a look. Pistola and Snipe down both have battle rifles as well. So definitely being quite advantageous to upgrade their weapons. But as we talk about that, Optic Gaming will capture the nest and get uh, get the strongholds back into their favor. Snipe down, scurrying to try and stay alive. He's going to get his shields back, but a triple cap from Optic oh. Gaming nasty. and Lethal taking down Snipe, Snipe down in a nasty uh, pistol shot right there. Yeah, and it looks like Blue Bend finally going on over to Envy. They're going to stop the triple cap bleeding temporarily. They need to get on top of this overshield. Last time they let Optic Gaming pick up two, maybe three in a row. Rockets popped up too. I know that Optic's been on top of those as well. Snakebite putting it together here with some really nice shots. Outsmarting Mikwin there with the jump on top of the ledge as well. That's going to be three dead. Not looking good here for Envy. Overshield Envy. coming up as well. Yep, this is looking very, very good for Optic Gaming. They could potentially make this a series here and push this to game number four, which would be Fathom Flag. Not much time here for Envy to make a move. It looks like you have Overshield and Rockets, however, Mike, in the hands of Hook as Snakebite just waiting for this camo. Who comes in, perfect play, killing that camo guy. Snake Bite's gonna burn that one. Rotation over towards the catwalk. Pistola even lives through that grenade. Oh, and with man. only here three points left before they win it, Envy, they come back here and put the points on the board, holding it looks like catwalk and red nest. They weren't able to get control of the overshield throughout the entire game, but down to the wire, Hook was able to get that last overshield. And now you can see how how that's been helping them turn this game back around. Pistola trying to get some nades on top catwalk. He's got to try and wow. get the reset, but so many nades bombarding him, taking him down. That will get reset by another player, though. Look at Mikwin. Very sneaky play. Oh, I saw him. Frosty didn't, oh, he did see him. So Mikwin's going to jump up, but nobody here. Ola trying to get some grenades in. They He's got Luke there. there as well. Not able to get it. They'll get the capture. And that looks like this could be all, all this could be all over. Yep. And they, now we got Optic Gaming slowly bringing this back. Yeah, I mean, I like that play from Mikwin, but he was just maybe a little bit too conservative, I guess, when Frosty did spot him out there. 
maybe he could have been doing the play that Shooter was doing, sitting in that back area behind the camo. Could have been something even a little bit more sneaky or at least laying down more shots and more firepower even on that guy that was charging over towards that blue platform area because you saw he had support sitting in that red window as we go ahead and take a look at the stats. Snipe down, he went off last game, but not this time. Optic Gaming shutting him down 12 and 17. Meanwhile, Pistola 12, 12 and 15, locking down some serious assists. However, Snakebite really sticking out 22 and 16, two perfect kills and lots and lots of damage coming out from PJ, the captain of Optic Gaming. Now making this a series, Mike, we're a little bit worried that Optic Gaming was just going to fall to their first 3-0, but they have too much fight left in them. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was looking a little bit scary, but here Optic Gaming is slowly trying to bring it back. And that play there that was huge. lethal. Massive play, a big turnaround there. And even though Hook was able to get that last overshield, uh, it did help them out, but they let way too many overshields go into the hands of Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming oh, did yeah. a great job at always capitalizing, making sure that they were there when that overshield popped. And I think there was at least two times where they were not even contested. That's Optic the point. Gaming just was right there. A, b a bunch of actions happening across the map, but Snakebite just slides yeah. right in. Hey, free overshield, I'll take it. Not just Snakebite, there's multiple people over there too after Snakebite picked up that first one. So that's what the thing that is concerning. That's what's concerning for me, for Envious. You have Alumni there. He needs to get these guys in line. They were over towards Blue Flag. That is not the spot that you want to be in when Rockets, Camo, and Overshield are coming up. The two worst spots to be in that instance are Red Flag and Blue Flag. And the thing is, is Hook and whoever else that was, they elected to go over there because they were predicting a Blue Bend push. Those guys were not setting up for Blue Bend. They were setting up for having everything and all of the control on the map as we kick this one off with Pistola. All right, Pistola making his way to the treehouse. As you see, Mikwin already at top middle trying to get the camo. I believe that will go into the hands of Mikwin, but that will be quickly burned. Railgun into the hands, I believe that's Snakebite, as he is like actually frosty, that's gonna be frosty that right? uh, with the Railgun. So he's gonna be hanging out here around top middle. So a good a good uh, starting push here from Optic Gaming, getting the Railgun into their hands. And now Team Envious getting trapped into their base. You see Hook a little bit hesitant, wanting to push out of this side over here, but he will finish up wow. the kill on Snakebite and snipe down. Finishing Frosty before he makes it around the corner. And now Austin Look at talking about play. his exactly. You were talking about his aggressive play earlier before, and this is the aggressive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could it happen? <gasps> no. Oh, Don't no. let it happen. Oh, oh my, my gosh. He just got bit by the snake and it did not feel good. Snake bite giving Mick win the business. We're gonna have to get a replay of that one when it's all said and done. Missing the back whack 180 business card handed right to him. However, Hook making the flank over here, looking for the triple kill. Nice challenge coming in from Lethal. He has to switch out over to his pistol. What a win there for Lethal. That just goes to show, never give up on a fight. There's always that chance. There's always that opportunity. Snakebite did not give up. Even though he was one shot, he was pretty much dead to rights. He did not give up, and he takes down Mikwin. Incredible play there from Snakebite. Ouch. Look at these shots from Royal 2 piercing with the light rifle. That's a big kill on Ola if, or on Snakebite if Ola can find it. There it is. That's going to be three dead now. Royal 2, last guy alive. Nice job picking up that kill. Has to be aware of the overextenders coming around the base. There it is. Bottom center run coming in. He does pick up a solid kill, but that is not the priority target. Envy, they are looking to get a return here. It looks like they're going to put two people on the flag. Multiple players are in the base. There it is. Hook, Siler going to put that flag in. Snakebite picks up a double kill. Optic looking for the counter over here, but I really like the plays splitting up here. Mick went over towards the elbow. You have Hook towards the engine side, and now there's one guy alive. It is Pistola trying to stop this flag from going in, and he gets the kill. Two dead now for Optic Gaming. Looks like Royal 2 has a nice opportunity here in front of him with this camo and railgun and can bait the flag, but he needs someone to desperately grab it. It is going to happen. Frosty pulls the flag. Royal 2 with the double kill. Can he find the triple? No. Snipe down in a good position to stop this flag. Frosty coming around to try to get that kill. Looks like Optic Gaming is going to be able to put this one in with the counter and tie it up one to one, Mike. That was absolutely insane. That was chaos. Absolute chaos. Royal 2 gets the railgun, picks up a double kill, kind of opening up that opportunity to run that flag, and Optic Gaming capitalizes. So you're going to see Frosty go down immediately. Both teams playing so aggressive here on Fathom Capture the Flag, leaving no room for error for, for either team. You've got to make the right pushes immediately. Mikwin's taken down by the railgun from Royal 2 again. Optic Gaming keeping that railgun in their hands. 
We've got Hook spawning back into the base. It's going to be one down for Envy. Just moments ago, we saw Hook in the same exact spot, kind of dipsy, dipsy doodling around this area, trying to make himself such a hard target. But he is going to go down as well. One down for Envy. And you've got Optic Gaming all falling down one by one. Royal 2 realizes that situation and does just opt to move back, stay alive. You don't need to make that push into the into the base. Just wait for those teammates to spawn up, and that's what he does. Perfect scenario for him, taking down Pistola. Spots the one shot. That's going to be a double kill. Look at this. Some rock climbing here from Hook. And you're <laughs> going to see Royal 2 trying to finish that kill, but Hook's going to just zip away. The way that I see this game kind of unfolding, Mike, is I look at Royal 2 and I look at Frosty, two guys that love to just lock down certain areas and rain down fire, both very deadly with the railgun, as you can see, Frosty already on top of that one. But I'm thinking Optic Gaming, they're more or less going to have a really clean flag run where they're getting multiple slays when it has to do with Frosty or Royal 2 being in a top center position, possibly with the railgun. However, on the other side, I'm looking at a play like how Mikwin made earlier or how they did in CTF Truth there, Mike, where they ran the flag while they were getting slays at the same time. More of a sneaky cap coming out. Here we out go again. Railgun and Camo once again. They're just capitalizing on, on the power up and the power weapon. Getting this this combo is so deadly on this map, especially. I mean, just free roam, railgun kills so fast, instant kill. And now that they're in the base of Team Envious, they're going to pick up one or two kills and then start to run this flag. Yeah, I'm surprised to see no pull coming out quite yet. There's the double kill, looking for the triple kill here. Can he find it around the corner? Nade coming in, he's gonna have to back off. There it is, Mikwin's gonna drop. However, the flag has not been pulled yet. What is going on right now? I feel like the players from Optic Gaming are just sitting back. Looks like it was Lethal who dropped a little bit earlier. Nice flank coming in from Pistola and Mikwin. Can they get the return? Ola gonna have to sacrifice his life. There it is, all of those kills and not much of a result, Mike. Yeah, not really anything to, to happen there. I believe there was a player from Optic Gaming in the flag, but when Frosty was picking up all those kills, but was taken down, so no one was in place uh, to pick up that flag, unfortunately. So that's good for Team Envious as they need to get out of their base. You just got Optic Gaming just it's constantly just putting all this pressure, and now they're running the flag again. It just seems like Team Envious yeah. has been stuck in their base for the past minute and a half. Big missed opportunity by Hook right there to overextend towards the bottom middle, middle area and get a flagpole. Instead, it's going to be Optic Gaming taking that one two to one here. Can they push this to a game five, Mike? It's so scary to think how well Envy's playing, and now Optic fighting back. Tooth and nail, not giving up here. Potentially making this one go to, I believe, Coliseum Slayer. It would be as the final game in this series, and everybody I know wants to see that one at home. Snakebite and Frosty picking up a couple kills. Could this be it? Lethal charging in towards the enemy treehouse. This is the area that you want to hold. He's going to have to back off multiple players coming around. Frosty getting a railgun kill. You can see Envy desperately trying to get back into their base and play some sort of defense. Last two guys alive are on top of Lethal right now. Another one's going to spawn as well. He's going to take down Snakebite. Another player pushing him over towards that elbow. Nice damage on to Mikwin, but where are the help? Again. Where is the help? Excuse me, it's Frosty here with the railgun. They have to turn this into a cap, Mike. They need to push this to game five. They have all of the advantages right now on Fathom. This is the third time they've got oh. the railgun camo. A little sticky uh, from downtown there on the snipe down, but this is the third time they've had railgun and camo this game. Team Envious not really putting too much pressure on the camo or the railgun. Optic Gaming probably just making it so hard for Team Envious to even get there. We saw Team Envious just stuck oh. in their base for so long. Uh-oh. Oh, help coming in from Lethal. Nice job by Mikwin predicting the drop. I thought that he was going to stay on top of that bat ledge there. This is what I needed to see, though, from Envy. Push into the base, run the flag. Optic Gaming, they love to hold the tree houses. They love to get top center. But if you can get the flag while you're slaying at the same time, there's a huge opportunity there because you get the cap and you still maintain control. And that's the type of kills and, and slays that they need in order to get this to snowball out of control so they can double capture this one. You can see Snipe Down trying to push this one in. Frosty's going to get a kill. If they don't get this return, it could be scary, though. They could leave themselves available for a counter. There it is. Royal 2 trying to do whatever he can top center. It's not going to happen. Pistola is going to be able to help secure that 
flag, getting the flag return and the flag assist. Two to two. This is getting intense, Mike. Yeah, if you're Team Envious, you do not want this to go to game five. You want to end it right here, right now. Be done with it because game five, you know the pressure is on you then. The reverse sweep is in full effect. And normally, when that opportunity arises, it's usually the team that's going for that reverse sweep that usually clutches it up and makes it happen. Here we've got three down on Team Envious as we saw Pistola pick up the railgun, but that railgun is now going back into the hands nice of Frosty play. again. But a huge kill from Snipe Down to take down Frosty, oh. not allow them to do anything with that railgun. Snipe Down trying to stay alive, jumping around, trying to get into a prime position here at top middle with Camo. Oh, Pistola Gets the bumped. thief. Not going to be able to to get that combo. And yes, I believe Pistola. Actually, I don't even know if Pis yes, Pistola, Pistola got did pick that up. So the wizard trying to do some wizardly things. Can he stay alive? Bottom center, he oh does my somehow. Gosh. Maybe that's why you give the camo on over to Ola. However, unfortunately for Snipe Down, he did drop that railgun. Now Lethal's going to have that railgun. I believe he was the player that just tossed out the flag as well. So yes, sticky situation for Ola to be in. He does find the camo railgun it's a after great all. Combo. Only one bullet here. What are they going to be able to do with it here, Mike? They've got to definitely take it slow as they have one teammate down right now, but just get into a good position and try and pick up a couple slays. Use this railgun to definitely at least get one kill, and now from then you can make your move. There it is, one kill. Can he oh. pick up the double? It's right there, Snakebite trying to stay alive. There is a third player nearby. He's going to get the nade off to get him weak, but nobody nearby to be able to finish off that kill. Snipe down in Optic Gaming's base. This is a big one-on-one, oh. -on -one and Frosty is going to say not today, Snipe down and not let him stay alive inside their base. So a big opportunity for Envy completely shut down. Yeah, missed opportunity. Optic Gaming, let's see if they can capitalize on that one. They desperately need to push this one to a game number five. Again, this is going to be the only time that these two teams meet up in the regular season. So, so much riding just on this game and series alone. Could be eventually the tiebreaker to see who gets first place and second place, Mike. These two teams just match up so well in some of these matches. It always goes down to the wire. Lethal, he'll take down Hook, staying alive as Hook dropped that railgun. I believe the railgun now goes into the hands of Mikwin as well. So see if they're going to be able to do something with this. Camo is coming up here shortly as well. So they're going to need to see Optic Gaming or Team Envious get in position, but two players fall from Team Envious. Optic Gaming realizes the opening, and they are moving this flag right away. This flag is going straight down Blue Street. Team Envious throwing all kinds of grenades, and none of them are going to connect. That's going to be two down. That flag is in front of the base of Optic Gaming. Pistola's right there trying to finish the kill. He's one shot and not going to wow. be able to do it. We are going to game five. Optic Gaming take Game number four. This is this is epic. Wow. I'm eating my words right now. I was saying earlier, Optic Gaming. This is not like them. Maybe we're seeing wow. Team Envious. They figured out the. They figured out how to take Optic Gaming down consistently. They figured out the formula. But Optic Gaming answers back, back to back, to take this to Game Five. I can't believe what we just saw. Let's take a look at the stats. Heavily outslayed. All across the board, you can see every player from Envy going negative, which is crazy to think about when the score was 3-2 to two and they had an opportunity to win that one. Only player going negative on the Optic Gaming side is Lethal. What a performance there and what teamwork. Look at all of those assists. Definitely working together, taking their time. They knew how they wanted to play that game type, and they didn't let up the entire time. This was the play, though. Mikwin losing out big time to Snakebite. I wonder if that kind of stuck with him the rest of the game. Yeah, that stuff can eat you up sometimes, but we are playing uh, with the best players right now in the game. So you got to think he's got to let that one let that one go. But taking a look at the power weapon kills, 13 railgun kills from Optic yep. Gaming and only two railgun kills from the boys in blue on Team Envious. Yep. And then on top of that, we saw seven flag grabs from Optic Gaming and only three from Team Envious. So Optic Gaming moving a lot of flags. Obviously, they weren't able to capitalize and cap them sooner, but definitely getting a little bit more movement going uh, than Team Envious. Yeah, and I think what we're seeing is almost like a game type 
by game type basis. You know, maybe Envy has them figured out on, you know, say Plaza Slayer or CTF Truth. Maybe Optic Gaming has them figured out on the Envy side for CTF Fathom or totally. Eden Stronghold. So now we go into Coliseum Slayer. Anything can happen in a game number five. Like you said, typically the team that goes for the reverse sweep carries that momentum onto game number five. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Envy take this one as well. Again, this was a toss up before the series started. It's still a toss up. Yeah, if you guys are on social media, tweet out the stream game five it's happening we've gone the distance once again with these two teams every single time they put on an incredible show it just goes to show how great these two teams and the players really are the time the commitment that they put in to study the game to figure it out to try and have that one up on each other and they are just they're the best competitors in Halo 5 right now. Yeah, I mean, these teams, like you said before, are so evenly matched, but they have two very unique and different play styles. It's all going to come down to the power weapon control. I'm worried for Envy. They weren't controlling in Eden Strongholds. They weren't controlling as well in the previous game. Look what, ha look what happens when they get the sniper rifle in their hand. Snipe down goes off, right? And a lot of that happened to do had to do with the fact that Optic Gaming just gave that to him for free. Again, Plaza Slayer, they sent two into Yard. That's pretty questionable, in my opinion. It may work, you know, and it may have worked in the past, but I feel like that's something that can be heavily exploited if you know that they're doing that. That gives you, again, that sniper rifle for free. So this is what I'm looking out for. I'm looking out for who's getting the rockets in the beginning of the game, who's going to be able to secure that sniper rifle, and more often than not, who's going to be able to go on the sprees when they get the weapons because getting them is one thing, hitting your shots is another. Yeah, and the mental games that have to be going on between these two teams... It's got to be absolutely insane. They've played this game type how many times? I mean, countless. So they know each other's beginning strats. How many times they've had to change them up, we don't know. But we constantly have seen in the past, I mean, Frosty sprint thrust sliding across the map, picking up the sniper and hitting a ridiculous snapshot, one that will never be forgotten, that will go down in the books. And then we've seen them change it up, really slow down, play it passive, let the other team kind of make the push for that sniper and then get some nice grenades and make them make the uh, the opposing team make this mistake by playing a, a bit more passive. So it definitely, it's interesting. I, I, I'm really curious. Uh, you know how those mind games were back right. in the day. It's like when we would play against each other, it's like we kind of had an idea of who was going where, who was going to go for that oh, sniper. Yeah. Neighbor no, was going to pick up the I, sniper. And yeah, for sure. That's something that I always prided myself on, knowing exactly where people are going to go in the beginning of the game because it's really just the ultimate disrespect, honestly, just knowing and predicting what they're doing because you've gone and just done that type of research and just shutting them down. One of the things that comes into mind to me was when we were playing against Carbon in the winner's bracket finals of the 08 National Championships, and we had scrimmed against Carbon so many times that we were ready for pretty much what these guys were going to do. I knew right in the beginning of Construct, game number five, where you need to know these beginning strategies. Game number five, Anarchy goes right for the Rockets. We shut them down. I pick up Rockets going on a killing spree. We win $100,000 a couple hours later. <laughs> Guys, do your research. It really pays off knowing these things. <laughs> you will be so surprised at the difference a nice opening strategy makes. And let's see what Lethal can do for Optic Gaming. Can they close this out with the reverse seat? Very aggressive play to start flying in there, getting the maze area, killing the guy over towards the grass, and now in infiltrating the base of Envy already. Yeah, interestingly enough, you had two players nice pushing nade. for rockets from Team Envious. What a shot there what to a pick nade. up the double kill. Lethal, Oh a my monster. goodness, and he got the rockets. What a play from Lethal. So glad that we started this one off with him picking up three kills. Combat evolving the rockets over to himself. That was a sick plaza nade, Mike. What a series of events there from Lethal. Rockets in hand four, rockets in the chamber, sniper in the hands of Frosty as well. All the goodies in Optic Gaming's hands. Let's see if they're gonna keep lengthening this lead. Six to one, really hard to do something against Optic Gaming once they have the sniper and the rockets. You have to make the absolute best push to stop them dead in their tracks, but it's Optic Gaming. They're gonna be making every single right play here. They're going to be staying alive. Look at this. Pistola goes down. Long range rocket. You've got Mick trying to perfect. push. It is 9 to 1. Lethal's playing perfect. I mean, you can't play the way that he's played this one any better. You could tell how bad he wants to beat these guys. They want revenge after Daytona. They were down 2 to 0. We were counting them out. We thought that Envy had their number. The tables have turned 10 to 1 to start off game number 5, and you still have Rockets in Lethal's hands. Snipe down has to be frustrated with that death. He has really put those Rockets to use, not letting any Rocket really go to waste. 
picking up three kills with them. Lethal now just hanging back, still by the sniper side. He doesn't need to push up, leaving Envious across the map by the rocket side. Rockets are coming up in nine seconds, but you know, Team Envious, they're trying to push out of that side. In Optic Gaming, they're in the more favorable position. Amazing way to start the game. Two minutes was that lifespan there for Lethal. Looks like Ola is going to get the fourth kill of the game for Envy with a stick. Meanwhile, Frosty with the sniper rifle. Rockets are on the map. Lethal is going to be rewarded with those ones as well as he finds another kill, this time on to Mikwin. And Frosty is in perfect position now. All the rest of Optic Gaming filling their roles. PJ, Snakebite, maybe wants to advance a little bit more on the map, but you can see that these guys from Envy are focused on getting towards that snipe side of the map. Nice little body shot onto Hook. He also spots the player underneath the base. Everyone should now be spawning over towards that elbow area, and they are. Frosty's in a great position to pick these guys apart. The power weapon kills is on another level here with Optic Gaming as Frosty picks up another sniper kill sniper to add to the list over on the Team Envious side. Hook has yet to pick up a kill right now. So we've got four kills from Pistola, three from Mikwin, and only one from Snipe Down. Optic Gaming really punishing Team Envious right now. Yeah, we're going to stick on board with Hook until he picks up his kill, which we know is going to happen here. He's going to get that assist onto Snakebite. Hook finding the snipe rifle, looking for his first kill. Snipe down, still getting the assist there for Hook. Distraction metal coming in as well. Needs to find the headshot here. Only down nine kills, not the end of the world here, Mike. We've seen crazier comebacks here, and you also have the weapons, so this could be something good. Could be the start there for Envy, and you also see someone kind of picking it up now in the kill feed. Is snipe down now with three or four kills in a row, stringing these together, getting Optic on the respawn here at red base. We've seen teams crumble once they start to go down in Coliseum, where you see the waterfall effect happen, but Team Envious is not letting that happen. And that's why it's so amazing to watch these two teams oh. play. Just they, the, the never give up attitude. The, they always can bring it back. They always can come back and win. But we're going to see Rockets pop here in just a second as we have Snake Fight across the map. Who is going to try and locate and one of the players here with that sniper, he'll locate Royal 2. He'll be able to finish off the kill there with that pistol. Oh. There's the rocket from Snakebite as well. So I believe Optic has got control of that every single rocket this game. So such a big turn of events was Hook missing that snipe on to Snakebite. Literally probably about a five to six kill turn. They don't get the rockets. Snakebite picked up a kill. Now he's got the combo. He's got rocket launcher and sniper rifle. Let's see what he's going to be able to do with it. Waste that last That's rocket. That's your combo, isn't it? It is. He's That's got seven bullets now in this sniper rifle. He can do some serious work for th with these. Ola's going to be spotted out. You do have Hook also uh, to his left. So looks like that shot possibly should have hit, but instead that one's going to connect right there. Will the sniper rifle stay on the map? It does. Hook's going to pick that up. Looks like it's going to be a battle here between Hook and Royal 2. What a oh. shot coming in from Hook with the sniper rifle able to secure. Is that his third kill of the game? There you go. Picks up another one to add to the list. Make that four. Trying to spot another player by Red Cave. And now you've got Team Envious in control of the sniper area. This is what they've been trying to get a hold of the entire time. And you can tell it is a massive advantage having this control. The sight lines that you have. You see so many different angles and you have so many escape routes. A killing spree for Hook as the players from Optic Gaming are spawning over by Blue Spot, Blue Side. Team Envious trying to keep control here by the sniper side. Hook's going to run out of ammo, but you'll see Pistola kind of push up a little bit too far, and he's going to go down. You've got Snakebite pushing over to the Rockets. Once again, can Envy stop Optic Gaming from getting wow. another set of Rockets? I don't know if that's going to happen because multiple players are going to drop for NB Snipe down the last guy live. They've even spotted him. Frosty flying in towards the cave. Big 1v1. Frosty's going to win it. 10 kill lead here for Optic Gaming. Something to point out there, Mike, was Hook did go on a killing spree, but keep in mind that he only has five kills. If he did not go on that killing spree, he would still be sitting at zero. And those rockets will fall down to the bottom of the rocket pit. 39 to 30, still a little bit of hope here for Envy. You're going to see Lethal Challenge. jump back out, and Mikwin will get the best of Lethal with that aggressive push. Royal 2 hanging back. We've got Snipe down with Rockets, Frosty with Sniper across the map as well. 
Definitely got to play a little bit careful. Snakebite's going to be able to get a trade here, making it 32 to 42. A lot of pressure here on Team Envious. They were once up 2-0 in the series, and Optic Gaming has crawled all the way back, bringing it to game five, and it is looking good for them as Frosty has a decent amount of sniper ammo, and you've got Optic Gaming making an aggressive push here. Yeah, he even takes out the rocket launcher player. That's going to be Hook. Snipe down returns the favor with a trade. Double kill for him. Two on two situation over here. Again, another trade coming in. Mikwin's going to be able to find the sniper rifle. He doesn't pick it up, though. Accidentally grabs a pistol instead. Was that sniper picked up by anybody quite yet? No, it's still sitting there. Still a little bit of ammo as well. Snakebite finds one. He finds two. Royal two finds another one. One more kill for Optic Gaming to complete this reverse sweep. It looks like they want Snipe down's blood for the final kill. He's caught over here towards that pyramid side. Only a matter of seconds before Frosty cleans this one out, and there it is. He falls off the map. Royal 2 going to get credit for that kill. 50 to 38, Optic Gaming. They make the dream happen. They reverse sweep Envy in the second game, the match of the week. I have no words. I'm, I'm eating my words that I said before. Team Envious, maybe they are just better in those first two game types, but Optic Gaming really kicked it into high gear in game three, game four, and especially game five, taking a look at the stats. 17 kills from Lethal, 13 from Frosty, 12 from Snakebite, and eight from Royal Two. So yeah, Royal Two normally is the main slayer of this squad, but Lethal really stepping it up here and putting on a show. We saw at the beginning of the game, just an incredible play, shooting the players there at top rockets and then getting those rockets as well by using that plasma grenade. Yeah, uh, that was just all lethal to start that game. He ends up getting four power weapon kills overall. I think he was positive five in a pretty close game. Yeah, they won that one by 12, but I feel like it could have really went you know, if Envy strung together some more power weapon kills, it could have went either way. But that was definitely their Achilles heel. They cannot allow rockets to easily go on over to these guys. Sniper rifle to be in Frosty's hands. You saw what happened when Snipe Down was able to get position. I never saw Mick, Mickwin getting a sniper rifle. I saw Hook there miss that shot on the top rocket player, which was Snake Bite. That was probably the big difference maker besides the opening strategy and the very well uh, played two minutes that came out from Lethal. But you got to give it to Optic Gaming. I mean, to win that Eden Strongholds and just be able to bring that back, that's where it kind of all started for them. And then to be able to win Fathom, three to two, another close game, but they outslate heavily on the MV side. It's just, you know, speaks volumes to the amount of resilience that this Optic Gaming team has. Team Envious, they are such a good team. They have to be so frustrated. They were only a couple of seconds away from being able to 3-0 Optic. Instead, they fall 3-2. Yeah, incredible comeback from Optic Gaming. They've got to be feeling good. They're going to sleep happy tonight uh, for sure after that match. Definitely probably uh, threw them off after game one and game two, but... Man, you know, you know how that feels. Getting the reverse sweep, coming back from being down by so much. I mean, it's exhausting for sure. And once you get that that accomplishment, it's just like, we did it, guys. All right. I think the best reverse sweep that ever happened was when Neighbor left the team. We came in with Snipe down, and it was a 3-0 reverse sweep in Canada, in Toronto, 2008. Were you on that squad? Which I don't know if you were. This? I think it was uh, Ogres, Neighbor, and then the fourth. Maybe it was uh, I think that might have Walsh. Was that 2008? That, 2008. I think that would have been me. I'm sorry, as Mike. As much as I don't want to admit I'm, it. I'm sorry, Mike, that it happened. I do know that feeling. Thank you for bringing <laughs> it back to me. <laughs> uh, let's forget about it. Yeah, let's, just, let's just. That never one never happened. happened. That one never, never happened. happened. Um, but it looks like we do have an interview. This time it is going to be Lethal. <laughs> lethal, can you hear us on the other end? Uh, yes, I can, sir. All right, so game number five, you see two people sitting up at the rockets, you throw a plasma grenade, it hits perfectly, and the rockets blow right to you. Was it planned? Wait, that nade blew those rockets to blue? The, knock it, the rockets <laughs> got blown to you. You blew you. the rockets perfectly. They fell in between the crack uh, of the DMR, so oh, it wasn't yeah, planned. You, yeah, you, you no. planned that. <laughs> I thought that was someone from their team no. opening strat. I can't throw that nade even if I try. I didn't. <laughs> I just got the double, and my teammates called out rocks, went to blue, and I just grabbed them. I had no idea. That Damn, was your I'm nade. Good. It looked like <laughs> probably the sickest, most planned thing ever. But um, how were you guys I'm feeling good. being down two to zero? What was the communication like? Were you guys like, hey, guys, let's pick it up here because Envy really came out hot in that series? Uh, yeah, truth, flag game one. We didn't play that well yesterday on it, we didn't think. And... 
uh, we just kind of got pounded, like outslayed super hard. We are we didn't really have anything to say about that. And then Plaza, we just, I don't know. We, we did a lot of things that we don't normally do. Like we let them flank us really for free. So we weren't too upset about it. And we knew we just had to take it game by game, just like we did at Daytona, except uh, this time we, we're going to actually try to win the last game. <laughs> so you guys have matched up against Team Envious so many times. Time and time again, you play the same game types over and over. While you guys were playing, we were talking about beginning strategies. Is there some some meta there? Are you guys kind of playing a mental game? You guys watch Team Envious, you know what they do, and they know what you do. So how often are you changing up that beginning strategy per game type? Uh, we make, like, slight adjustments, but for the general, like, uh, the general strats, it's pretty much the same thing. Like we look at the same stuff, we have the same goals, but we might switch up like a player or two, like their position. But yeah, it's weird when we play them. We don't even say it, but I kind of just know where to look, and they probably do the same thing against us. I know now to not go glass and jump to LR because the first three times I did that, I just got insta killed. So I don't do that anymore. All right, Lethal, so you guys, that's a big win for you guys because that is the only other time that you're going to end up facing against Envy. Now, I want to ask you, after seeing Splice 3-0 Team Liquid, what are your thoughts on Team Liquid after the game type updates, or was it Splice just playing out of their minds? Oh, looks like we lost some. I thought Frozen that was... Frozen in time. Yeah, that question was just so, you know, good. It caught him off guard. That I just froze lethal Skype. He didn't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're, we're going to bring He's him speechless. back. But, uh, but overall, you know, congrats to Lethal. Thank you for the interview, and thank you guys for watching that series. Optic Gaming taking on Envious. That was the match of the week. Let us know what you thought of it on social media, at ESL Halo, at HCS. Use that hashtag HCS, but don't go anywhere. We still have two more matches going on, and we will get those underway after this break.